Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at this any viewer that somebody from the company approached me on an email if I was willing to do a review video of their software and no, this video is not paid or sponsored by them. And even if you download the software, I do not make any money or anything on top of it. So if something is bad on the video, you'll see it's bad. If something is good, you'll see it's good. With that said, Let's fire it up and go ahead and connect it to a laptop that's connected to a different network and see how that goes. And I'm going to download the free version is yes, again, they didn't give me a license even to try a premium version. So we're going to go with a free version and treat it as if it was a full version. That's what we do here. Now let's get the number of our partner ID. Okay, and now let's go with uh, remote control. Send a request to your partner, input security code. I'm just gonna click okay, whatever they have as uh, default. And here on the other side, it uh, has this prompt here, always allow, and I'm going to allow it. And now it's opening up and let's see what it does. Okay, so now this is the screen of our other computer that we are dealing with here and it doesn't look that bad it looks quite strikingly similar to uh any desk if you've used any desk before kind of like it except a little bit more laggy i would say and let me see if i can get rid of this double cursor is that's not supposed to show when i'm inside the remote screen usually even on free versions whether it's uh any desk or uh team viewer uh by default your cursor doesn't show here so let me see what we have here that's just the screen itself let's see the operation here if we can get a mouse and clipboard recipient recipient black screen the recipient i don't like that lock the device okay disable mouse and keyboard of the recipient i'm not sure if i'm a big friend of that but hey i will try and i don't seem to find a way to disable from showing my own cursor mode balanced high quality i'm just going to do a uh, high speed and if i chat here for example uh test and hit enter and the test should go on the other side it probably did so let's check it from here and yes the test went there and uh one two three okay that was pretty responsive this cursor i am not liking this this uh, double cursor uh even the free version i just don't see an easy way around here to get rid of this cursor and that that's a bit of a shame because this is the operation okay log log out restart shut down this pc test manager cmd it doesn't have an option to use only my curse uh the cursor of the uh client or the remote desktop it should be an option at least that it doesn't need to repeat my cursor on top of the other cursor this is a big flaw that i'm starting with the lag is not that bad i've seen worse i've seen worse yes i have a premium any desk actually was given to me by somebody at any desk itself this is uh any view not to mistake any view with any desk any view didn't give me anything so i and no i'm not uh complaining about it i absolutely like taking a look at other software but i'm just pointing out what i dislike so far so let's go to files and see only logged in users can transfer files okay so i've seen other virtual control desktops or virtual view or remote viewer desktops actually not do this one you don't need to log in to simply transfer files when you have consent from the other party that yes you are allowed to be in their computer and you are allowed to transfer files and i'm gonna try to sign up if it lets me and uh, see where that goes we'll see you in a second okay so i signed up and let's let's go to settings really quick before i go anywhere else this is, by the way, not the other machine. This is in my machine. I'm just going to go through if I can find a way to, 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 to prevent this double cursor from happening. And so far, I checked all, all the options, and there is no option to do that. And that is quite a bummer. So now we are connected here. I'm going to put this down and let's go to file transfer and let's see how that's gonna work and uh, i'm gonna take one of the videos that i already put there it's four gigabytes 
And I'm gonna transfer it to myself on the screen, just desktop. And nope, it does not let me do a file transfer. At least large file transfer, it says. Okay, so let me do a smaller file transfer. That's just uh, OBS Studio, the app. And let's see if I can do that. 100 megabyte is still too big. Wow, I can actually do more with a uh, team viewer free version in this case so far. Or uh, what do you call any desk, they at least allow you some. Okay, 41 megabytes now. 41 megabytes should work. And let's see what it takes to transfer it. And the transfer rates are quite, quite low for the free version, if I'm being honest. I like the idea, but it's for, for a 40 megabytes file, this is not optimal there's a lot of people might just want to use this for family and friends real quick not really in a professional environment per se let's say you're a tech or something and you need it professionally and commercially then maybe it's a different story i don't know what the speeds are in their paid version but on the free version these speeds are at best i would say mediocre because my internet speed right now it's around is around 250 to 208 megabits down and around 50 to 70 megabit up so this should not be a problem at all but the bottleneck looks like it's on the uh, subscription and this is just i don't know what to say i don't want to sound like i don't like the software because i like the software i guess it's okay at best but when it comes to free version versus free version any viewer which is this one versus team viewer versus any desk my top list for free ones again would be team viewer then any desk then any view which i'm using right now in my honest opinion as i said i'm not getting paid to say bad or good things about this company i am thankful to them for bringing it to my attention and telling me if i wanted to take a look and obviously i'm going to take a look at it but they can do a little bit better they can definitely do a little bit better you know because the competition are doing already way above this level so if they want to survive in this environment in this day and age of uh, remote desktop softwares they have to get the game a little bit up even on the free version i know it sounds kind of counterproductive why would they do that especially with a free version they have to because the competition already offers you 10 times more than this on their on their free versions and i'm just saying this is just my real real honest opinion and this file receiving i like the uh that it shows you the percentage here and i'm gonna cancel it because i don't really need it and if you click speed up obviously you have to upgrade to professional it, they have 15 day money back guarantee and uh i don't know what i think about the <laughs> calendars but this is just something that i'm observing from a personal standpoint and uh, let me see if i can send something now to the remote desktop and uh i'm just gonna go to one of the videos i made about the revel and i'm just gonna send i guess a 50 megabyte video and try to shoot it to that part of the town and let's see if it goes any faster sending or is it the same cutoff and bottleneck to that speed and nope so far it looks like it has that bottleneck on that speed and uh that's that's just not really acceptable for 2023 as i said when competition is light years ahead and this mouse situation is really weird that i'm not able to 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 tell where my mouse is or where the uh remote desktop's mouse is at some point in time as you see here it just keeps going away and they they need to fix that they need to fix the what comes with a free package i know i'm probably asking too much because i'm asking for something free but if you want to really drag people into even downloading your software you should offer them just a little bit more so people get more familiarized with it is that's what uh, team viewer did they allowed a lot for free yes they had their ups and downs and their bad stuff and good stuff and all that but hey still there is a majority of people that have it installed in their computers and that's how they did it so now what i think about this from my perspective from one to ten i would give this a solid four that being with a bottleneck 
speeds really low and with a uh, mouse cursor that there is no way to fix it do i think this is a helpful software to have uh even the free version that i have here absolutely yes it's 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 not bad you can still work with it it can still go on and do all the tasks that you're looking for but don't expect too much from it on the free version and with that said i think that's all i can say about it at the moment until probably a later video or something like that if i find something else regarding it and uh yeah this is the software itself and uh with that said we'll see you next time and i hope you learned something and bye